right guys want to give you a little update here um, I know it's been way too long since I've done an update um, there has been some progress uh, I am now building some of the units for those of you that have donated to the GoFundMe uh, I've got uh, four that I'm building concurrently um, you see one of them here uh, this is my test unit that I had in my truck that I have out um, so what, what the plan is is that I'm going down the list um, those are starting with those of you that have donated the most or have done the most to help me out um, taking your care of you guys first and then I'm working my way down to the uh, smaller donor amounts um, so I, once I get these four done I'm going to contact the next four I'll get those done and then so on and so forth so I should be contacting each of you soon um, and get the uh, specifics of uh, what gauges you want, what style, what color, and all that good stuff. So um, we're in the home stretch. I appreciate the patience and the support you guys have had up to this point. Um, but we are almost there. So that's part one of this announcement. In part two, um, I just want to show you some of the evolution of the uh, cluster housing here. So. Um, the initial game plan is for uh, those that have donated to the GoFundMe I'm gonna build the complete units for you I'm gonna provide you with the housing and the wiring and stuff and you guys will install it in your truck and do the wiring and then it'll be good to go and then once once I've taken care of those that have donated I'm still undecided as to whether I'm gonna offer a kit with the boards and then you guys, I'll give you the plans and you guys can mod your own cluster housing or as an option let me get this here for you this is going to be an option this is a 3D printed cluster housing for this project um, this will fit directly in place of your factory housing all my circuit boards will fit in here and work um, the factory cover will fit on and it will look a hundred percent stock other than the fact that it's digital once it's installed in your truck um, just want to show you a little bit about the evolution of this so this is the first housing I started with um, it was the original housing out of my truck, my original cluster that I took apart. You can see where I've cut. I've put some epoxy in places. Um, I've drilled multiple extra holes and clearanced a lot of items to get the circuit boards to fit in here. Then of course along with this, I have some 3D printed brackets to go in there and help support the boards. So this is what I started out with this mess and then the second iteration was this one which is a little bit cleaner um, you can still see there's a lot of stuff that's been cut out there's some stuff that's been clearanced um, this one's actually still got the circuit boards in it for the lights because I actually had this whole assembly in here installed in my truck and that's what I used for testing so the, the difference between this one and the, the last one that I showed you, we now have some 3D printed uh, board supports here, which tie into these to hold the circuit boards up in the front. And as I said, I had this one in my truck and I actually did another housing exactly like this and I sent it out to Mr. Daniel McKenzie, who was kind enough to do a 3D scan and provide me with the file to have this printed. So I did mention this is going to be an option for some of you guys after I do the initial uh, donor group get them done and those that have want, want to buy a kit to do their own truck this will be an option you can buy this and the circuit boards and have it ready to go. Now I will warn you um, I have been checking around, but this cost me over $300 to get made, okay? It, it's a one-at-a-time uh, production. Uh, I am looking for other options. Um, 
I may be able to get them done for around $200 from another company. I'm still working on that. But either way, it's going to be an option, although it may not be a cheap option. So there's that. And uh, last thing while we're here talking about stuff and talking about pricing, um, that is a big question that I get is, you know, how much is all this going to cost, blah, blah, blah. Well, I've been telling people it's going to be in the $1,000 to $1,500 range for an assembled unit. Um, with that being said, this past year, um, I'm sure you guys have noticed everywhere you go, prices have gone up a little bit. So that figure may be on the higher end, if not a little bit higher. I'm still not 100% sure yet. Uh, just to give you an example, the uh, EGT probe that I use for my EGT gauge, uh, I bought some back in uh, January or February, the beginning of this year. Um, they were $63, I think, each. And it was the exact perfect probe that would work with this application. Uh, I purchased two more in May, April, May, or June, somewhere around there. And they went from $63 to $130. Okay. Um, that's probably the most substantial increase I've seen and the components that I need for, for my, my digital gauges for this and the uh, triple set that I sold to some of you guys. Um, some of my other components have gone up, none that drastically, but I want you guys to be aware um, it's going to be a little bit on the higher side. So uh, that being said, I still have uh, some more fine tuning to do on this. Um, it, it fits. Uh, pretty good. The board set fits in here pretty good. He did a wonderful job of scanning and measuring. Uh, I got to do some fine tuning to eliminate some of these plastic pieces that will go in here. Now that I have a, a solid foundation to build on, I can get rid of some of these. And I uh, may have to make some adjustments to the open areas here. I may be, may be able to close some of them up, make it look a little cleaner. Um, Still will need some of this open for wires and such to pass through, but again, I want to thank you guys for your patience. I want to thank you guys for your support, and uh, once again, we are in the home stretch in this project, so we should be getting everybody going here real soon. Thank you.